Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Hello everyone and welcome to Anderson County Sports TV's coverage of Anderson County Bearcat Volleyball. Tonight the Bearcats are taking on the Owen County Lady Rebels. Bearcats coached by first year head coach Ryan Brown. Looks like the starting lineup for the Lady Bearcats will include number 10, Maggie Hatton, 31, Sydney Pinkston. The libero is Jenna Halverson, wearing number three. Number 15, Annie McDonald. And that's a swing there and a kill by number 18, Sydney Davis. And she will go back to serve for the Lady Bearcats. Got a nice set there from the setter, Hatton. Owen County sends a free ball over. Hitting middle, and that ball goes in. With a swing, that's double zero, Hannah Drury. Davis will continue to serve here for the Lady Bearcats. That one barely makes it over the net. Owen County sends it back over, and Pinkston tried to do something with it, but unable to. And Owen County now will serve. The barrel, number three, Halverson having trouble. Owen County swings and the, the block attempt goes off Hannah Drury. Go back over to Owen County. Free bow now coming for the Lady Rebels. Ball is tipped, dug up nicely. Bumped over by the Bearcats Hatton. And Hatton with the face pass touch over the net. And they score. It's Bearcats three, Owen County two. And we have a quick timeout here in the early going. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. Here's it for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. Back to serve for Anderson County will be Hannah Drury. And it throws it up and hits it. Dug up by the Bearcats. And that's going to go down the line. Jury unable to handle it. She will come out and Halverson will run back on as the libero. Owen County serve. Nice pass. Miscommunication there by Owen County. That results in a point for the Bearcats. We've got two subs coming in for Emerson County. Savannah Smith, she'll go back to serve. 
And then number five, Chelsea Brack comes back into the game. Excuse me, comes into the game. Back row attack from the libero. She can do that as long as she doesn't cross the 10 foot line or leave her feet. Hitting middle and that goes through the double block. Point for the Bearcats. Emily Smith, number 16 with the score. Five to three now. Anderson County on top in this best three out of five contest. And this time the serve by Savannah Smith does not clear the net and it'll go over to Owen County. Pass tight to the net, dug out nicely though. But unfortunately the return goes out of bounds. Brack goes out, and I believe Smith came back in there. I'm not real sure. Oh. Howerson wish she had that one back. Excuse me, Annie McDonald came back into the game for the Bearcats. On county serve is long. That was number 20, McDonald, that hit it out. And the score is tied six to six. As Hatton will serve. High pass, takes it over on two. Hatton sets the weak side. Dug up by Owen County. Ribeiro swings again. This time it's way long. Another point for the Bearcats, seven to six. Hatton back to serve. And that one is long. It's tied up seven to seven. And we have a sub coming in here for Owen County. Carter comes into the game for the Lady Rebs. They're coached by Ann Carter. Swing on the line and in. Went to the Bearcats. They go back up by one. Halverson will come in to serve. And that's an ace. Nine to seven now. Nice serve by the libero. Almost did it again. Touch blocked back, dug up though by Owen County. Becoming more of a ping pong match there for a second. Good job by Drury to stay out of the net and get the point for Anderson County. We got a sub coming into the game. Pinkston returns for the Bearcats. Iverson still serving and that hits the back line and another ace by Halverson. Two aces and the Bearcats are up by four, 11 to seven. Another nice serve. Hatton sets Drury. She swings and it goes down. Twelve seven now the score. As Halverson doing a great job back there. Serving the ball for the Lady Bearcats. And that one was that one was shanked out of bounds. Another point for Anderson County High School and Owen County calls a timeout. They trail the Bearcats 13 to seven here in the first. 
Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Anderson County breaks their huddle. There's Coach Ryan Brown in his first year. And there's Halverson. She serves it nicely. Had tried to bump it, but unable to do so. And the timeout was effective for the Lady Rebels as they get the side out and the point. Eight serving 13 here. And that one is out of bounds. So Owen County gives it right back. Pinkston returns in the lineup. Brack serves for the Bearcats. That was an ugly ball, but the ref didn't call anything. Good swing, but out of bounds. Oh, no, they're saying, was it inbounds? No. Okay, that's what I thought. McDonald comes back in. Halverson sends the free ball over. Owen County unable to do anything with it. Bearcats lead 15 to 9. That was on this side of the antenna, so that's no good for the Owen County Rebels. Short serve doesn't clear the net. 10 serving 16. Anderson County has led this entire contest, although it was close uh, early on. And it's not too far now, really. But Owen County can't uh, they get a side out, can't get the serve over. Uh, they've got somebody coming into the game here. Burford comes in as Jury goes back to serve for Anderson County. Nice play at the net by number 16, Emily Smith. Jury serves again, and again, that passes into the net, but Owen County recovers. Lady Bearcats able to take advantage of that situation. Owen County having a hard time passing the ball to their setter, even on free balls. Out of bounds, but it was close. That was not necessarily a bad serve. 19-11 is your score. Anderson County leads here in set number one. They go to 25. Nice swing by Hatton. Hitting middle. And we got a couple of subs coming in here. Savannah Smith comes back into the game. Chelsea Brack back into the game. And Savannah Smith will go back to serve. That three ball is out of bounds. Good eye by Brack. Savannah Smith. Bearcats up by 10, 21 to 11.
Lady Rebels having a real hard time right now. A couple of new players, I think, are coming in for Anderson County. Number one, who I do not have listed on my roster. And number 23, Kaylee Clark. Comes in 22 to 11. The Bearcats have doubled the score of the Owen County Lady Rebels. Another nice serve. That's an ace by Savannah Smith. And we have another timeout by Owen County. The Bearcats, just a couple of points of putting this one in the record books. They're up 23 to 11 here in the first set. Century 21 is not an app. It's not a website. It's a team of actual humans. The best in the world at finding homes, selling homes, and making you feel at home. If you're not satisfied, we don't sleep. With all four JD Power Awards for customer satisfaction, three years in a row. How many satisfaction awards do you have, Internet? We've got technology, but more importantly, we've got your back. Century 21. And Carter trying to say something to her team that will get them inspired and back into this match. I think this this set is all but a foregone conclusion. It's just how close will Owen County get? Right now they trail 23 to 11 to the Bearcats. Smith serves again. Tipped over on two, but Anderson County played it nicely. Nice swing. And that one's out of bounds. So we are at set point now, 24 to 11. Savannah Smith trying to close this one out for Anderson County, at least this set. Halverson kind of foul tips that one into the net. So Owen County still has life. 12 serving 24. Set point remains. Smith with the bump. Set to the weak side. But number one, and I'll try to find out who that is a little later. It wasn't really her fault. It wasn't a great set. That one goes into the net, and that's the end of the first set. They will switch sides and do it all over again. Stay with us. This is Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. It appears the Bearcats have the same group. On the court here to start the second set. I believe that's Sydney Davis back there starting off serving. And automatically, Owen County has trouble handling Davis's serve. Also on the court, Annie McDonald, Jenna Halverson, Hannah Drury. That one's into the net. Maggie Hatton is on the court, and Sydney Pinkston. But Davis's second serve into the net. Good pass, Jury with the swing. And 
that pump set is out of reach. Bearcats get it back here. Leading three to one in this set. They won the first set. Drury serves it up. And that's against the ref stand. Bearcats doing a good job placing their serve. Another point for the Lady Bearcats. They now lead five to one. Mishandle called on their setter. Double contact says the up ref, who I think is Kevin Ship. The down ref, I'm not real sure who that is. I haven't seen him before. Jury serves again. Libero bumps it up this time, and the setter takes it over on two, and it's effective. Owen County gets the ball back. They trail the Bearcats two to six. Harvison with the pass that time. Roll shot. Nice swing by Hatton, but into the net. And Coach Brown calls a quick timeout. We'll take it as well. You're watching Bearcat Volleyball here on Anderson County Sports TV. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right. These are for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. Carter set to serve here for 01 County Lady Rebels. Six to three is your score. Bearcats on top. Make that seven to three after that serve goes into the net. We got a couple of subs. It's the Savannah Smith Chelsea Brack combo coming in for Pinkston and the McDonald as they almost always do. And I believe it's going to be Savannah Smith coming back to serve. And she does. Some discussion there with the down ref and Coach Brown. Not sure what it was, but apparently wasn't a big deal. And pass. It's a free ball over for the Bearcats. And they set Hatton outside, but she was unable to deliver. This time she will set herself. And that's a big time kill by Brack. Nice swing by Chelsea Brack. Puts the Bearcats up. By five, eight to three. And that one goes wide to the left. So Owen County sides out, gets the ball back, trailing eight to four. Tight, nice pull. Another free ball coming, uh, goes into the net. It'll be Bearcat Volleyball. Nine to four is your score. Hatton will go back to serve. Another free ball. Another a tough swing by Brack, but this time Owen County is able to dig it. 
This time they go weak side, but it goes into the net. Sidney Davis with the swing there. Five serving nine. Punched over on two. And another mishandle. He let one go like that in the first set, but I think uh, he realized I said, no, 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 I can't, can't let that go. That's just a bad hit. Halverson back to serve. That's another ace. She had a pretty good run in the first set. 11 to 5. Bearcats widening out that lead just like they did in, in set one. Another serve and it shanked off again. And another ace by Jana Halverson. Good bump set. First real swing we've had by Owen County in quite some time, and, and they put it down. Six to 12 is your score. Carter comes back into the game. That was Shelton with the swing for Owen County, and she now goes back to serve. Nice serve. by Shelton, seven serving 12. Looks like she could go on a run. Bearcats need to stop this right now. She's got a nice serve. And not a great pass, but Bearcats come out on top. Pinkston will return to the game for Anderson County as Savannah Smith sets down. I guess Brack went out earlier. No, that was Brack serving actually, and it goes wide to the right. So now she will come out and McDonald will replace her. Eight serving 13. As the Vibero, Gill serves the ball. Drury off the net, hits it a little bit too hard. Nine to 13 now the score. Anderson up by four. Drury again, a little bit too long. And Coach Brown calls that other quick timeout. They only allowed two per set, and that's, that's the last one. They have kind of let Owen County come back into this thing, but the Bearcats still lead by three, 13 to 10, here on Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Gill ready to serve here for Owen County. They have clawed their way back into this. This is set two. Anderson County won the first set and are up by three here. And we have a whistle already. We're out of rotation. Owen County out of rotation. 14 to 10 goes back over to Anderson County, a nice serve. By the Bearcats, Sydney Davis, 15-10. Hitting middle is Drury and she puts it down. 
And a jury with the kill. Davis continues to serve up by six, 16 to 10. And that one's just out of bounds. Audrey Lewis will now serve for the Owen County Rebels. Howerson with the face pass set. And that's a good play by Owen County on that one. I, I like the way uh, the Bearcats ran their offense that time with a, a fake hitter and nice swing, but Owen County dug it up and executed well that time. They trail by four, 16 to 12. Halverson hit middle again, and that one is into the net. 16-13. That was a good pass and a good set, though, I thought. Hatton hit middle one more time. Jury is blocked. And we've got a sub getting ready to come on. Kaylee Clark will come in replacing Hatton. See if that can change things up a little bit. Wide to the left. So just that little substitution was enough to make uh, Owen County missed their serve. 17-14. Lady Rebels got pretty close that time. Let's see if the Bearcats can get a few here as Drury swings. They seem to be going at their libero gill a lot, and usually it's your libero that is your best defender on the team, but uh, Gill is struggling tonight with passing the ball. Just out of bounds. Just out of bounds. Set a little closer than that. 18-15 says the scoreboard. Anderson still up by three. And that goes out and hit the antenna on its way there. And we've got the Brack Smith substitution coming. McDonald sits. Pinkston will sit. And Savannah Smith will serve. And another nice serve right at Gill, the libero. 20 to 15 now. Bearcats five points away from winning another one in this best three out of five contest. Another serve that Gill is having trouble with. Must have been something in the scouting report or something or they just detected earlier on that she was struggling. Hatton comes back into the game for Anderson County. Kaylee Clark sets back down. And that serve is into the net. 21-16 is your score. Bearcats up by five, four points away from getting their second set win. The serve goes to Smith. Hatton retrieves it free ball. Halverson puts it over and gets the point. Unorthodox but effective. Hatton will go back to serve here. I'm not sure what happened there. Some sort of mix-up. 
18 was ready to hit the ball, but then all of a sudden didn't. I don't know if someone called her off of it or what. Hatton serves. She's not going to Gill, but the person she is going to also having difficulty. This is set point now, 24-16. Flat-footed hit by the libero. And we've got a back row attack called on Anderson County. The back row can hit the ball, but they cannot cross. They cannot leave their feet and cross the 10 foot line. That line to the right there. If so, that's a back row attack and that's what happened. And that's a double contact called against the Bearcats. The ball has to, if it's going to be touched with both hands, the hands have to be locked together or if there's finger action involved, it has to be hitting both hands at the same time and leaving both hands at the same time. And this time, our hitter, Brack, is into the net. And Owen County still fighting, trailing 24 to 19. Halverson into the net. Bearcats out of timeout. So they've got to, they just need one more point here, but they're struggling to get it. 24 to 20. That's a nice serve there. By Owen County, 24, 21. And that one's out, and Anderson County dodges a bullet. They win that one 25 to 21. They're up two to zero now as we come to the so-called volleyball halftime. We'll be back with set three right after this on Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. We're about ready to get started here in set number three. Bearcats have their usual suspects out on the court. Owen County will serve. Nice swing, but dug up by Gill. And that swing is into the net. 1-0 Anderson County with the early lead. Gill bumps it up. Just out of the reach of Halverson. Tied up now, one to one. For the Owen County Volleyball. Nice set to Hatton, but a good up by Gill. They hit it right to Davis, the setter. That makes it difficult a lot of times whenever the setter, who's supposed to receive the second ball, if the hit is right to her, it's awfully hard to, well, it's, Illegal to hit both the first ball and the second ball. You can hit the ball twice in succession, of course, in volleyball. But it went wide. And we've got someone in the net for the Bearcats, and Owen County has their first lead of this match. They're up three to two now here in set number three. Halverson hits it way low, but somehow the Bearcats got that up.
Nice swing off the net by Annie McDonald. And she'll be rewarded by being taken out of the game. Because we have the Smith Brack substitution coming right now. Bump set to the middle. And that was either into the net or blocked back. Emily Smith on the swing that time. Owen County leads 4-3 here in set number three. Bearcats won the first two sets, however. This is a must win for the Lady Rebels. And they get another point, 5-3. Big block. I'm not sure if that was Hatton or Smith, Emily Smith. But one of them got it. Put it back. Bearcats trail by one, four to five. Hatton with the serve. Good swing by Owen County. Six to four. Lady Rebs on top. We've got a substitution for Owen County. Carter comes back into the game. McAnally sets down. That's another block. By right, number 18 there for Owen County. Born. Hatton with the bump set. I think that one went under the net. Eight to four. I'm saying Hatton. Went into the net that time. Nine to four. Owen County lead here in set three. And we've got encroachment on Owen County. You cannot contact the ball on the other side of the net, on your opponent's side of the net, until after they have already hit it three times. Good up by Halverson. Rebs take it over on two. And they're calling a foot fault, I believe it is. Anderson County crossed underneath the net. That's illegal. Coach Brown calls a timeout. His team trails by five, 10 to five. Here in the third set, Anderson County leads two to one, or two to zero, rather. Back with more in just a second. Century 21 is not an app. It's not a website. It's a team of actual humans. The best in the world at finding homes, selling homes, and making you feel at home. If you're not satisfied, we don't sleep. With all four JD Power Awards for customer satisfaction, three years in a row. How many satisfaction awards do you have, Internet? We've got technology, but 
But more importantly, we've got your back. Century 21. Jill will serve it up for the Lady Rebels of Owen County. Leading 10 to 5 in this set. Drury with the swing. And with the block, but Owen County recovers. Drury with the swing again. This time she gets the kill. Hannah Drury. Brack will serve for the Bearcats. Another free ball. Halverson just can't get there. McDonald comes back in for Anderson County. Halverson to Hatton, bump sets. Just long, just outside. 12 to six, Owen County up by six here in set three. Halverson. We see this a lot in high school volleyball where one team will win the first two sets and for some reason, even with the same personnel, they just don't play as well in the third set. Anderson County not playing up to their first two sets. Drury swings hard. It's up by the Rebels. Good play by Gill there. A bump set. And a nice dig by Audrey Lewis of Owen County. And she gets the point as Practically all of Anderson County was up near that 10 foot line. We had some back row creepers in there. Halverson and McDonald tried to make a play on it, but didn't get it. Now we have Sydney Davis coming out of the game and Kaylee Clark coming back in. Drury with the swing and puts it where they ain't. So Kaylee comes in and then comes right back out as Davis will come in to serve. Bearcats trail seven to 15 in this set. They won the first two. And that was just out of bounds. 16 to seven. Kaylee Clark will come back in for Davis since her serve now is over. Carter will serve for Lady Rebels. Nice block, but nice dig by Anderson County, and that's going to be long. Jury will serve for the Bearcats. Maybe a miss hit there, but it doesn't really matter. 
Blair Rebels couldn't do anything with it. Nine serving 16. There's still time for Lady Bearcats to come back and get in this ball game, but that one trickles over the net. In the old days, that'd be a let serve, but nowadays it's a point. Nice swing by the Bearcats, number eight, Shelton. Excuse me, the Rebs, number eight, Shelton. And that's a nice serve. Right into the back corner by number 11. I believe that's Perkins, I think. I can read my chicken scratch. Now that's long. 19 to 10 now. Time running out here on Anderson County. We've got Brack coming into the game for McDonald. Nice pass. Hit in middle, and that was out of bounds. A nice swing, though, I think, by Hatton. Good pass, good set, just couldn't keep it in. Halverson gets it back over. That's a nice placement. By Shelton, 21 to 10. Yeah, that's going to be called a double contact. That'll be Bearcat volleyball now. They trail by 10, 11. 21. Savannah Smith comes back in to serve. Gets an ace right out of the barrel. Nice set. Brack takes some off, gets it down. Savannah Smith continuing her run 13 to 21, but the Bearcats need to score a bunch more here to get back into this contest. They can't make many mistakes and win this set. Robinson. And the Bearcats score again. 14 to 21, chipping away, chipping away. A little bit surprised Carter hasn't called timeout for Owen County. Another ace serve by Savannah Smith. I don't think Owen County has called one this set. The Bearcats have run off a few here. And that was on this side of the antenna. So another point for the Bearcats, 16-21. May have to call a timeout just so Savannah Smith can rest her arm here. 
Roll shot into the corner. And again, that hits the antenna. 17 21. The Bearcats slowly coming back here. I think they were down 21 to 10 when Smith first started serving, and that's another point. Another ace by Savannah Smith. And this time, Coach Carter of Owen County calls a timeout as the Bearcats have gotten themselves back into this. They still trail by three, 21 18 here in the third. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Coach Brown in there instructing his team, probably telling them nothing drops, just chip away. Play good, sound, fundamental volleyball. We can still come back and win this thing in three. It's an out of district game, so overall it's not that important, but still, you want to win every time. Just a little long, but a good swing by Brack. That ends the rally. 22 to 18 now. Anderson County needs a side out. Powerful swing. I believe that was Hatton. Yes. Nice pass to the setter, and she was rewarded for it and put it in there. Harverson. That was uh, an off sort of swing, but it was effective. Clark with the kill. 2022. Bearcats have gotten themselves back into it. Hatton's serve. Another free ball here. See if the Bearcats can take advantage of it. That's tight, and I thought somebody might have been in the net, but no call. Outside swing by Brock. She puts it down. Brack hitting hard from the strong side tonight. Hatton serving it up, trailing by one. Harverson's hit is into the net. 23-21. Carter comes back into the game. Shelton will serve for the Lady Rebels. They're up by two in this set, but they're trailing by two in this match. Losing the first two sets. An inerrant free ball that time from the Bearcats. Back again. She's starting to become their go-to hitter. I would say that usually belonged to Drury, but Brack is doing a good job over there. Drury back into the game now. And Brack remains in as Halverson serves it up, trailing by one. And we've got a net call. Hannah Drury into the net. So this is set point now, 24-22. This is it. The Bearcats are going to win this set and the match early. They'll have to do it right here. Three ball coming. That's tight. Owen County wins set number three. The Bearcats are still up two sets to one. 
We'll switch sides and do it again. You're watching Anderson County Sports TV. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. Is it for you? Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by JD Power. Set number four starts off here with the Bearcats serving. And a miss hit by the Owen County setter. Oh, another trickler, man, you hate that. Unless you're on the, the Bearcat side. <laughs> this is Davis. Serving for Anderson County. Lady Bearcats with an early 3-0 lead. They, they lead two sets to one. They almost came back in set three, but they dug too much of a hole for themselves. Now, that was an interesting play, folks. I thought that the ball hit the goal, the backboard, or something. Maybe that's playable. I have no idea. But Owen County got the point, and they get the next one. So now it's two to three. Owen County, tight pass. Drury takes a little bit off. Halverson, Drury with a big swing that time, puts it down. Bearcats up four to two. Hannah will go back to serve. They're going at Gill again here. Free ball over. Drury with the bump. Tight set. Let the Bearcats stay out of the net. A nice block over there on the far side. Bumped over but out by Davis, I believe it was. That block was by Pinkston, I think, over on the right side. So three serving four. Nice pass, nice set. Hatton with the kill. And we've got the Brack-Smith combo coming in. McDonald Pinkston going out. Bearcats up five to three here in set number four. Another kill by Chelsea Brack. She's having a good game tonight. Savannah Smith with the serve. Oh, somebody should have just pounded on that ball as it came over, but I got the point anyway. Seven to three now, Bearcat lead. Savannah Smith. 
Serves it to Gill, and we got another mishandle by the setter. That's Audrey Lewis for Owen County. Smith had a big serving run in set number one. Harrison has to chase that one down. That's nearly a miss hit again, but it's going to be four contacts. So another point for the Bearcats. You see Coach Brown in the distance over there giving some instruction. Nine to three is your score. Here in set number four. Smith has to send it back over. Drury. Bearcats get another point. Ten to three. And we've got a timeout. Bearcats lead here in set number four on Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Okay, folks, during that timeout, I had to change batteries and missed a couple of serves. Uh, Anderson County scored on one, Owen County scored on the other one, and then the Rebels give it right back. Got a sub here coming in. This is Clark. 12 to 4 is your score as Hatton goes back now to serve for the Bearcats. She gets another point. Serving at Gill, mishandle, mishit, I should say, and Hatton scores again. They're up by 10, 14 to 4 here in set number four. And that one, another trickler over the net. And another big swing out of bounds. That's by Chelsea Brack having a, a good game here. Tonight, Bearcats are up 16 to 4. Hatton with the serve. Brack takes them off, puts it in. 17 to 4. The Bearcats on a roll here. And the fourth set. Slide out to Owen County. They trail by 12, 17 to five here. This is a little more reminiscent of the first two sets that Anderson County won, although I'm not sure they were ahead by 12 this early. Nice swing by Hatton. Halverson. Eighteen to five. 
And that's outside of the antenna. Another point for the Bearcats, 19 to five. And that's long, 20 to five now. And we've got a timeout by Owen County. We'll take it with them. This is Anderson County Sports TV. Century 21 is not an app. It's not a website. It's a team of actual humans. The best in the world at finding homes, selling homes, and making you feel at home. If you're not satisfied, we don't sleep. With all four JD Power Awards for customer satisfaction, three years in a row. How many satisfaction awards do you have, Internet? We've got technology, but more importantly, we've got your back. Century 21. That, folks, is Coach Ryan Brown. He's in his first year here at Anderson County. And this is Jenna Halverson. She's the libero for the Lady Bearcats. And serving now with a 15-point lead, 20-5 over the Owen County Lady Rebels. If they can close this one out, they'll win this match. It's the best three out of five. They won the first two before getting behind a lot in the third. They came back, only lost by three, but they hadn't dug that hole. They got down by as many as 11, I think, at one point. Howerson serves to Gill. Good up there. This is Brack with the swing. Halverson to Clark. And that was Drury, I think, with the tip. Brack with the bump. Clark over to Brack again. And she hammers it down the line. Chelsea Brack, number five, having a great night. We got some new players into the line up here. Drury comes out. Gill's hit goes into the net. That's Lauren Holland, number 30, came into the game. And the aforementioned number one, who I do not have on my roster. And that pass is shanked. Nice effort by Gill to keep it alive, but unable to do so. 23 to 5. either Drury or Kaylee Clark, one or the other, that tipped that ball over, and now we are at set and match point, 24 to five. Anderson County. And they win it. That is the contest. Anderson County wins set one, two, and four. Owen County took the third, but another victory for the Lady Bearcat Volleyball Squad under first-year head coach Ryan Brown. We want to thank our sponsors, Century Bank, Progressive Photography, and Century 21, and we thank you for watching this ball game on Anderson County Sports TV.